And you can see these citations by just simply going on ChatGPT or Perplexity and searching up keywords that you would like to rank for. So for example, best cyst removal Toronto is a high targeted keyword for our client here. And we can see that they're ranking number one under leading clinics by ChatGPT. And this is going to bring in not only search traffic, but this is going to bring in people that want to pay and use your resource because you're seen as a leader from ChatGPT, which is a place that they trust that the information is coming from. At a time where websites are getting less and less clicks and losing clicks and visitors to AI overviews, and more and more people are turning to AI powered search engines like Perplexity AI and ChatGPT to get its information, We've been able to grow a website from getting about 5,000 monthly viewers to now getting over 75,000 monthly visitors and ranking for over 20,000 keywords. And this was all done in the year of 2025. So in today's video, I'll be going over exactly how we are able to do so and how you can do so for your own website or your own business. It's becoming more apparent that every single day, more and more people are going away from Google and searching for information on places like ChatGPT, Perplexity, or they're searching on Google, but not actually clicking on websites because you can get an AI overview that gives you information directly. So there's really no need to go onto websites. So how do you as a business, how do you adapt so that you can still get that search traffic? And it's not just about ranking on Google or optimizing for Google. You now also need to rank and optimize for ChatGPT. You need to rank and optimize for perplexity and you need to rank and optimize for the AI overviews on Google. And the way to do so is not very different from traditional SEO. So the way that we were able to exponentially grow this website um, in the year of 2025, with all of these changes that we had with all of these core updates is by sticking to creating high quality, up-to-date SEO content. And this means finding the right balance of volume and quality. So not just writing a bunch of content using AI that's thin, but taking your time to have a methodology to write the best possible content, but also be a thought leader and a content leader within that space. So for example, if I take a look at our website here, we have over 314 articles that we've posted within the last couple of months. So we definitely did a blitz on content. This is a lot of content, but the content is not very thin. If you go ahead and click on any one of these pieces of content, it's at least 2000 words. They have images baked into it. They have internal links baked into it as well. And in some cases you have custom HTML elements. For example, if we take our last article that we created, we can see that this is a very, very in-depth piece of article, at least 3000 words with internal links baked in and a custom HTML element. So let's go ahead and copy this over. And I'm going to open up this article so you see what it looks like. But this is a sample of what we do. Custom image there. Really beautiful article. Very, very long, very in-depth. If we scroll down, we can see a mole size assessment tool. And these are, are, this is a type of content that we create in most of our articles. And that allows us to be able to outrank our competitors because our articles aren't just thin or surface level. They actually have in-depth customized tools baked into each one of the articles. And those are the articles that do well. If I head over to our Ahrefs overview and we head over to organic traffic, we can see that one of our article, so just one blog post brings in over 11,000 search volume per month. And if I go ahead and click on that article, we can see there's a lot of custom HTML elements. For example, first we have a FAQ accordion style, which takes all the information and puts it into much more uh, presentable and a much more engaging way. So this is just a elevated FAQ that's more interactive that has uh, content that is highlighted and just really, really good. It's much more engaging. And the way that we're able to build this is by using our tool WordRocket. So 90% of the content on this website was written using WordRocket. And if you wanted to create a HTML element like I just showed you, you just head over to the interactive element generator. You paste in your content, you choose FAQ accordion, you can choose your colors, and then the AI will actually generate that HTML code for you. So if you've already created your article, you can use WordRocket for completely free, by the way. This is a free template in which you can use, and you can generate those custom HTML elements. You also have a bunch of other templates which you can use to generate various types of content. 
So for example, if you want us to generate more content that's uh, relevant, more factual, it's more up to date, you can use the AI blog generator with web research and we'll actually go ahead and research any topic in which you put in or you search up and then we'll use that information to write an up-to-date article. You can also generate uh, text with images with the all-in-one SEO generator 2.0 which allows you to generate images in line to your articles. And again, there's a bunch of other templates which you can choose from. One of my newest and favorite templates is the competitor analyze your tool and this is a very very high quality tool in which you can use to generate content the way that it works is you first want to paste in your competitors you can paste in up to five competitors for example let's say i wanted to rank for this keyword the best smartwatch of 2025 i can copy over my competitors All right let's go ahead and copy over my competitors here for this example i'm just going to do two competitors and then click analyze and the AI will actually go ahead and scrape each one of those articles. And we scrape that for completely free. And it's going to give us back some information which we can use to outrank our competitors. And we can use that information to write an article all within WordRocket for that competitor. So very, very powerful tool. We'll come back to this once it's finished. And if you scroll down, you can see your past analysis that you've done. So once it's finished, you can go ahead and you can see the content analysis. So we can see here that the content type, the target audience, the word count, readability, the SEO analysis with certain keywords, strengths and weaknesses, and content gaps and opportunities. So once that's finished, we can go ahead and select or deselect any of the analysis to then create a super prompt. Okay, so now our second article is finished. And here is our second analysis. So I'm going to go ahead and select two of the analysis from the competitors and click build a super prompt. And now what the AI is going to do, it's going to take that information and build a super prompt in which you can use on WordRocket or you can use it anywhere else in which you like. Um, but the main difference here is that you're going to be getting real up-to-date information based upon your top ranked blog post. And that is going to allow you to write an article that's so much more better than what's already out there and increase the likeness of you ranking number one or outranking your competitors winning the ai overview and also ranking in chat gpt and perplexity so here is your super prompt now i'm going to go ahead and click use in word rocket we can up the word count and we can then tell it to include a custom html element throughout the article and as you can see here it will capture that super prompt so it's a very in-depth prompt as you can see and then we go ahead and simply click generate the content. It's going to generate in the background, give it a couple minutes and have a beautiful piece of content that's finished. Now, heading back over to our case study, if I go over to our overview in over 114 places, we're ranking for the Google AI overview. We're ranking for 91 pages on ChatGPT, 36 pages on perplexity and 30 pages on Gemini. So that is really, really good. And we're going to continue to grow this area. And this is what you need to focus on. Not only are we getting really good search rankings, but you can't just rely on rankings and traffic from Google. You need to start building your AI citation. So these are links from other sites. So essentially, these are other places that are mentioning your website. And if I head over to ChatGPT, I did a couple of different searches. And you can see these citations by just simply going on ChatGPT or Perplexity and searching up keywords that you would like to rank for. So for example, best cyst removal Toronto is a high targeted keyword for our client here. And we can see that they're ranking number one under leading clinics by ChatGPT. And this is going to bring in not only search traffic, but this is going to bring in people that want to pay and use your resource because you're seen as a leader from ChatGPT, which is a place that they trust that the information is coming from. So again, how to remove or how much to remove mole in Toronto, we can see here that again, the client is being mentioned here or the website is being mentioned. So once you're being mentioned in these places, that's where now you're going to get traffic from different places other than Google. And that's how you adapt your strategy. And that is how you feature proof your website. And you ensure that no matter what changes with the AI, no matter what changes with SEO, that you will continue to get clicks and visitors. But most importantly, you'll continue to get customers that are willing to pay for your services. Before we conclude today's video, let's head back over to the super prompt and we can see the article that has been created. As you can see here, it's a beautiful article with um, actual comparison tables with a 
custom HTML element. So this is a detailed smart watch comparison table here. If we plug that into, this is the preview of the HTML element that we generated an interactive smart watch comparison tool. So you can go by prices, by battery life, and then it'll give you a recommendation based upon your filters, right? This is amazing. Really, really good stuff here. Intuitive, engaging, easy to use, but really upgrades the feel, the look, and the engagement of your article um, to allow you to outrank your competitors. And again, we did that all automated, all within a couple of clicks using WordRocket. So of course, if you'd like to use WordRocket for yourself, just head over to app.wordrocket.ai. But again, these are this is an example of the type of content which you can generate. Not only are you generating a long in-depth article with custom HTML elements, these articles are really, really good. If you go ahead and read through this, you can see that it's a very unique article that doesn't sound AI and will definitely compete with the top websites for that specific key term. And it's a very, very long article as well. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Most importantly, I hope that you learned something new. If you did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next video. If you have any questions, if you have any questions about anything that I mentioned in today's video or any thoughts that you have, let me know in the comments below. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.